So, if P is given 2060 and composition of the other odd nucleus, we can give as per the instructions given here. They may say opposite of, suppose one is given as P, this is Q, this is R, okay, P, Q, R, only this. Now, this is given 20 and 30, and also it is given minus alpha, and here is written minus beta. Tell me, what is the composition of alpha, uh, P and R? What is the composition of P nucleus and R nucleus? This should be how much? 22. Okay, good. 34. Because 22 minus 2, this will happen. 20. 34 minus 4, 30 is also. Okay. What is proceed? No, proceed. No. What is answer here? And 30. You got it, huh? So we are only giving the composition of nuclear, so no, we are not showing the nuclear reaction. Only composition we are showing. No? Okay, one, another one, just see, suppose you are given P with 34 and 60. That is, you know, and they are saying, <coughs> find the number of particles emitted and which particles are emitted. Can you guess which particles are emitted and find their numbers, how many of them? Huh? Because you, both are changing, no, both are changing. That means this must be, both change take place only in case of alpha particle emission. <coughs> Definitely alpha particles are being emitted. Can you guess how many alpha particles are emitted? 34 minus 28, the difference is how much? 6, that means, so this should be, for, this is 48. Uh, okay. So, 34 minus 28 or this minus this, you can check. 60 minus 48, what is the answer? 12. And that one decreases by 4 when one alpha particle comes out. So the how many alpha particle came out? Three. You said three alpha particle came out. Minus three alpha. I know. Then it exactly matches. Three to the six, 34 minus 6 is 28. 3 for the 12, 60 minus 12 is 48. Okay. okay. Now just think and answer. Huh? Write a question. Write a question. Uh, nucleus of a uh, nucleus of uranium. A uh, nucleus of uranium. A uh, nucleus of uranium. Under bracket you write U ninety two two thirty six. Changes into, changes into, changes into, changes into the nucleus of lead, nucleus of lead, write down PB82 and 204, 204. Please stop. Find the number of of particles emitted. Find the number of particles emitted. <laughs> okay, now the answer. It is given as 92, 236. It is changing into lead 82, 204. Tell me, 
number of particles emitted okay if you think of 92 minus 82 the difference is 10 so 5 alpha no but it is not matching this is not matching because 5 into 4 is what 20 no this should have decreased by 20 The answer should have been 260, but here the answer shown is 204. That means this nucleus is emitting both alpha as well as beta. Both emission is take, taking place. It is not only alpha because it's not matching. Mass number is not matching. Oh, that means it's emitting both alpha also beta also. Oh. First we will emit heavier particles, then the lighter. So alpha particle. How many alpha particles emitted? First, we calculate the number of alpha particles. Right, number of alpha particles emitted. How to find number of alpha particles? Because you know, alpha time, beta time, both changes. No, sorry, alpha time both changes and beta time this changes. So this two will change in alpha also in beta also. That we cannot make or will. See the change in the this number. Two thirty six minus two zero four divided by four. That will give the number of alpha particles. This difference divided by four for one alpha particle. The difference is how much? Four, no. So this will tell you by four. What is the answer? Eight. 